All right, so these are some practice word problems involving the maximum, okay, the maximum or minimum, finding the maximum or minimum size or area of some sort of shape um, or some value. So in the first problem, it says the product of V and T is 72. So let's go ahead and write an expression. So V, v times T equals 72 because product means multiply. It says what is the largest possible sum of V and T? So we don't know what that is, but we can write the sum as v plus t equals s, where s is equal to the sum. Okay? All right. So basically, we've got two variables, which means that we need to use both both of these equations to, um, in order to find one of the variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for v, and this is arbitrary. Um, I'm going to say v equals 72 divided by t. So I just divided by t on both sides. Okay, and everywhere I see v here, I'm writing really crooked. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in 72 over t. Okay, plus t equals s. Okay, so I just did a substitution here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this so that all of my variables are in the numerator. So the definition of negative exponent says if I have an exponent in the denominator, I can move it to the numerator by changing the sign of the exponent. This really is t to the positive 1, so when I move it to the numerator, it becomes t to the negative 1. Okay, uh, plus t equals s. All right, so if you remember, anytime we're talking about maximums or minimums, um, we can find those values by differentiating. So now I'm going to say s prime is equal to negative 72 t to the negative 2 plus 1. Okay? And by definition, maximums and minimums happen when the gradient of the tangent is 0. So I'm going to make s prime 0, okay? Because that represents the slope of our tangent line. Okay? And now I'm going to solve, and I'm going to do that up here. Okay? So I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. So I end up with negative 72 t to the negative 2 equals negative 1. So I just subtract one of those sides. Okay, and now I'm going to divide by negative 72. So t squared is equal to 1 over 72. So t is equal to the square root of 1 over 72. And um, since we're, we're looking for I should have said, what is the largest possible sum of V and T? The largest possible sum has to be positive, so we're not interested in the negative value of T. All right, so now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our original equation, which is VT equals 72, and we're going to put this in for T. Okay, so our original equation said VT equals 72. Okay, so I don't know v, but I know that t is the square root of 1 over 72. Um, and that equals 72. So now I'm going to divide both sides by root 1 over 72. Okay, and I'm just going to use my calculator for this. And again, um, make sure that you're closing your parentheses on the bottom. Otherwise, um, it may look like you're multiplying by 1. Okay, so v is equal to approximately 610.94. And I'm using a graphing calculator because I don't have my Casio here. Um, but if your Casio gave you a CERD, that is preferred. So, um, yeah, so now all I have to do to find the sum is I just need to add v and t up. So v is that plus what we got. And by the way, I'm leaving this non-terminating, well, it's a terminating decimal. It just goes on for a long time in my calculator. And I'm just going to add this root of 1 divided by 72 to it. So the maximum sum of my, of my um, two numbers is approximately 610.94. All right, so that's how you do that one.
Okay, and let's do another one where we're asked to find the maximum and minimum. It says Tyra wants to build a rectangular pen for her horse next to her barn. The barn will act as one side of the pen. So Tyra will need the other three sides, or will need to build the other three sides using no more than 520 feet of fencing. Calculate the maximum area of the pen. So, um, I'm going to just draw this. If we have the barn, let's say this is the barn side. Okay, and that means we're going to make some sort of rectangle here. So we could call this X and Y, we could call it A and Z. You can call the variables whatever you want. Okay, so basically what we know is that um, the three sides, 2A plus Z, has to be less than 520. Okay. Use an equal sign, I don't, I mean, that's not technically correct, but it's not wrong. And then to find the area, we would say A times Z equals the area. All right, so again, we have two variables, and we need to find each of them, so we're going to um, solve for one of the variables. So I'm going to solve for Z because that requires the least amount of manipulation. And when I'm solving, I'm going to replace this with an equal sign just for substitution purposes. Okay, all right, so now in this equation, everywhere I see z, I'm going to put in what z equals. So I'm going to do that over here. So a times 520 minus 2a equals the area. So you might have noticed that this now becomes quadratic, um, which it should. So we're talking about area. And what you should also know is it's upside down parabola. And the reason we're seeing that. Um, the reason we're seeing that is because um, we're looking for a maximum area, so it has to be reflected. All right, so there we go. So I'm going to start by taking the derivative because any time we are looking to find a maximum or minimum, we take the derivative. Okay, so we end up with 520 minus 4a. Okay, okay, give me one second. And anytime we're finding a maximum or minimum, the tangent at that point is zero. So I'm going to substitute zero for a prime. And I'm going to solve for our little baby a here. So I end up with negative 4a equals negative 520. Okay, it says subtract 520. And I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides. So a is equal to um, 130. Okay, Ava, give me one sec. Okay, so 130. Alright, so now we want to find, um, okay, I'll get it for you in just a second. Okay, okay, so now if we want to find the maximum area, we could put it into either, we could put a value into either one of these equations, um, because that's the combination of both equations. So 130 times 520 minus 2 times 130 equals our area. So this becomes 130 times, or you could just put this straight away into your calculator. Um, 520 minus 260, yeah, 260 equals A. Multiply this together. And we end up with an area of 33,800 equals our maximum area. Now, if you wanted to find, um, we found little a, if you wanted to find z, you'd have to plug it back into here. Um, but they weren't asked to find z, but if we wanted to, we could. So we could always say, um, well, 2 times 130, because that's what a was, plus z equals 520. So z is equal to um, 260. So basically, if we wanted to check our answer, we would have 130 times 260 equals A, which is what we had before. So you get the same thing. So basically, one of our sides is um, 130 units, or in this case, feet, and our other side is 260. Um, and that is how you do this problem. So our maximum area is 33,800.